I am Dr. Ganappa A. Walikar, works in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Salapur. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on a radio frequency identification technology in IoT. As part of learning outcome, at the end of this session, the students will be able to describe the concept of RFID technology for IoT. Now, before discussing applications, architecture and components of RFID, so let us will begin with the introductory part of RFID system. Radio frequency identification system is a technology that allows to identify objects through radio waves. Usually in IoT system, the objects are working coordinately in order to gather, process and transmit the data to the central system. In order to work cooperatively and each objects should identify each other. And usually objects or devices in IoT system have identification number, but that identification number should be read by the a particular system. And this RFID technology will enable us to read a particular objects in a system and make the other devices need to be identified. The RFID usually connects to the reader, then that reader will connecting to the internet. The readers can identify, track and monitor the objects attached with this particular tags. RFID is often seen as a prerequisite for the IoT. The first use of RFID was in Second World War, where it is used to locate the enemy location in a Oh, war field. RFID is the fast, reliable and does not require physical sight or contact between reader and the tagged item. Without any physical or without any lighting system, if objects come between that proximity area, so automatically it will be tagged or automatically it will be read by the reader. But it is not happens in the barcode system. In barcode system, in order to trace or in order to track that particular object, it should have a lighting system or it should have a close contact with that particular object. So, this is the main difference between RFID and barcode system. In RFID, it is not noticed to the uh, object whether it is being traced or not, but in case of barcode system, the objects can identify, uh, yes, my particular identification being traced by some system. RFID usually used to monitor, track and supervise the objects in a system. RFID usually a means to be aware of the state of the system by repeated observing the particular conditions, especially to detect them and give warning of change. If any changes happens in that particular proximity area or in a particular environmental conditions, automatically that information will monitor by this RFID system. It not only monitor the objects in a system, it also tracks the movement of that particular objects and timely order sequence of uh, respect to location data to a particular model. It is not only monitor, track the objects in the system, it also supervise the monitoring of the behaviors, activities or other changing information and usually it is a people or a objects. Now we will discuss the RFID in a IoT. The RFID identify the objects using tagging and a labeling of a IoT objects. It act as a tag or label which may be replaced over an object. Usually objects in a IoT will have a identification system in the form of label or in the form of a tag. That tag usually contains a particular identification number in a given format. The RFID in IoT consists of a transceiver, data processing system, a middleware, application and service layer. 
the transceiver usually transmit a identification number of an object from the tagging labeling or to an a reader the reader will reads and decode the information then send it to the uh, processing system then processing system will process the uh, identification information then it will send it to the application and service layer via a middleware a label usually is in a microchips and used to transmit data when the label is exposed to a radio waves so this radio waves or act as a, a transmission media to transmit the uh, tagging information from the object to the reader so these are the components of uh, rfid system the rfid tag rfid antenna rfid reader rfid station the rfid tag usually exposed to the reader the reader will reads uh, identification information from the rfid tag then that information will be processed by the processing system and send it to the rfid station the where the user can uh, process and extract the uh, knowledge from that particular information now we will discuss how these four components together work in identifying the uh, objects in a uh, iot setup so now here there are four components what we discussed one is rfid tag rfid antenna rfid reader and rfid station and this is a rfid tag usually contains a identification number in a given format usually that is included in a header format so this is connecting to the reader through this rfid link the reader will reads the information in the header then decode that information after decoding it identifies a source of that information then it will send to the a uh, computer based system or rfid station through rfid antenna so how so these four components coordinate each other in order to identify recognize and transmit the information to the computer system so this is a uh, in detail representation of how the rfid system works so this is a uh, tags or labels attached to the objects and these tags represents uh, identification number of that particular objects so these readers read the information and once it reads those identification information will uh, transmit uh, in the form of a signal right so then the reader will uh, process that data or recognize the location of this uh, objects then send or transmit to the uh, host so where the user is uh, working with that particular data via either through wireless or wired communication system and this is a working of rfid so transponder from the object will receive the signal uh, in the form of a energy and it, it will send back an identifying response uh, to an a reader the reader will reads uh, those signals that signal usually contains the identification information of that particular tagged objects via antenna right so then it will recognize process that information and then broadcast that particular signal uh, to an a computer based system or host system uh, through antenna so so likewise so all components are working together in order to identify the particular object and this is a example of rfid so how so rfid is exposed to the signals and this is a tagging system and this is in a logo of uh, rfid technology or system so these are the applications of rfid system so usually it is used in product tracking right 
the toll payment in the transportation system, the passport office, identification system and in libraries, shipping and other applications. So, let we will discuss application of RFID to uh, pictorial representation. The, this is a RFID application, it is being used in uh, solar planets, being also used in jewelry tracking, vehicle tracking, schools and colleges, hospitals, IT asset tracking, a library system and retail uh, apparel. So, these are the uh, some of the applications is so where RFID being widely used in order to trace, track and monitor the objects. Think and write. So, what is the use of RFID in IoT? Pause the video now and answer the question. Usually RFID is used to identify, track and monitor the uh, remote IoT objects with location and time. And these are the references uh, I referred uh, to prepare the PPT. So, out of which the two are books, one is the Internet of Things, Key Applications and Protocols by uh, David and Omar. The second book is Internet of Things, Architecture and Design Principles by Raj Kamal and rest all are uh, internet content. So, I referred to prepare this particular PPT. Thank you.